All right, this is the CLNS Media Patriots Roundtable. I'm your host, Nick Qualius, and you're with Marvin Zahn and with Mike Molino. We are here. It is week one of the NFL season. I got Patrick Mahomes on my fantasy team again this year, so I'm excited. I'm excited to win my fantasy football league. And we talked about last week maybe having a fantasy segment every week. Maybe we can still do that, but that's not going to happen this week. Just tease that a little bit. Let's talk more about COVID. We were talking about this before the show. If in March you told us that, hey, in September, we're still going to be dealing with COVID. We're still going to be trying to figure out how the football season is going to happen with this pandemic that started somewhere in China, potentially because of a bat. I think that's the story, right? A bat. This thing is still going to be ravaging the United States and the NFL season. So that's a simple question. Guys, is this season going to happen? There's been some, they've been testing the players and the personnel. So after the first report from weeks, August 21st to 29th, four positive cases among players, six among personnel for the week of, again, August 21st to 29th. And from the, I believe, was it the first through the, through Labor Day? So that would have been the seventh. There was one more case, and I believe a couple more of personnel. So one more case, though, with a player. So, guys, the question is pretty simple. Is COVID going to end this season earlier? Are we going to lose any games due to coronavirus this year? Mike, let's start with you. What do you think? I went from absolutely positively believing there would not be an NFL season because of COVID to now – I'm pretty damn optimistic that they're going to get through the whole thing. From start to finish, week one through week 17, full slate of playoff games, it's all going to happen. And I'm saying this all knowing that COVID is still out there. But as we've seen with other sports, especially Major League Baseball, they don't really give a damn if COVID's out there. They're going to keep it moving. I think that's especially the case for the NFL. Especially the case for the NFL. Even if baseball didn't happen or wasn't didn't have cases popping off like they do, I think the NFL was going to find a way to push through hard no matter what. And like we said, baseball, we've talked about this before. You thought if there was one sport that would probably not have to deal with COVID too much, even though they're not inside of a bubble or anything of that sort, it's probably Major League Baseball. There's not a lot of contact. You know, there's not a big, huge staff and whatnot. But... I'm telling you, over the last several weeks, how many cases of COVID have happened in Major League Base- Baseball? How many games have gotten, not even just games, how many series have got, gotten canceled because of COVID-related issues and whatnot? But Major League Baseball still sees this, and they say, oh, we'll cancel these games. We'll cancel these series. But we're pushing forward with the season no matter what. And They don't even, they don't, sorry, they don't even care if teams play the same amount of games. They're they just trying to play baseball. They don't give a damn. <laughs> they don't, they're just pushing through no matter what there has I think there was a minute a, a, a short period of time where um Rob Mayfield I think that's the commissioner's name Manfred, Manfred. So, yeah. Rob Mayfield <laughs> I think there was a minute where he 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 came out and said hey there may be a chance that we have to stop things but that that was gone just hey, like he's that. also an idiot <laughs> yeah and they pushed through and they're still having a so if baseball is doing that NFL is going to push through no matter what. And for the most part, you know, with these, the numbers that you said, they don't have a crazy amount of numbers popping off, but I don't see them slowing this machine down for anything now. So right now I'm excited for football to start week one major. I mean, uh, NFL season fantasy season. It's going to go from start to finish. I think it was important too, that they made it so public At least from like a a PR perspective, I think they made it. I think it was important that we really got to see what players did not want to play due to COVID. Uh, And like, it wasn't just okay. This guy's dropping out. This guy's dropping out. There were reports on it. There were stories coming out on it. So we really saw from again the NFL's PR perspective. The NFL must have liked it. It was like, hey, we really care about our players here. These guys have chosen to sit out. We're not going to say a thing about it. That is their decision. I think that was a smart move on their part because it at least shows that they do care about the players, or at least that's the 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 image that they're giving. Marv, what do you think? Does this season get hampered at all because of COVID? There's, there's going to be a season 
We will be having a Super Bowl. They will be crowned a champion. The great poetic group in New York based called Wu-Tang Clan once said, cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. That's all it's about. Look, everyone's going back to school. People got to go back to work. And players got to work. NFL's got to make their money. And they're going to do whatever it takes to get their money. Let's see, listen, watch how the NFL's been moving throughout this whole offseason. You say COVID, Roger Goodell says, huh? Who? What? <laughs> and keeps it moving. He keeps it moving, acts like COVID has not existed throughout. You heard rumors that they're going to change how the face masks work. They're going to change how they do the huddle. The, but we never heard the NFL say anything like that. Those are just reporters saying maybe that's what the NFL will do. The NFL doesn't give a damn. If you think baseball was bad, just watch how the NFL's been moving this whole offseason. Sure, Nick, you mentioned the, the letting players go off with the COVID list. You have to do that. You have no choice. You have no choice. You can't force players to It was play. a good PR move. It was, it was right. like, hey, like, hey, guys, we care about our players. That's all it was. Right. <laughs> exactly. This this season is going this season's going to happen, but I'm not ignorant to the fact that there's a possibility it could be stopped. You know, if if there is some type of crazy uptick and you know players are getting sick or something like that, there's obviously a chance that this season will will be put to a halt. I mean, that's a possibility through all sports, even in the NBA bubble, as it seems to be going as smooth as it is. There's a possibility if something was to break out, the season would end. So, um. Yeah, there's always a chance, but I think, you know, like Mike was saying, my optimism has skyrocketed. Just seeing how other teams have been going through it all and been successful so far. NFL, even though they're the they're the sport that has probably the most contact next to basketball on spreading it, um, I think it's still going to pass through. I think we're gonna we're not gonna hear much about COVID during this season. And if a player does get it, you know, there's, there's so many roster spots in the NFL. There's so many people waiting to get a chance. They'll just the next man up. All right. And, and <laughs> like, yeah, the NFL's not going to do anything. They don't care. You guys are right. They don't care about it. I mean, the MLB, they were like, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to handle the schedule. Everybody's going to be playing close. You're not going to be traveling across the country. The NFL is like, Patriots. Go play in California if need, if you need to. We don't care about what you guys do. This season is going to happen. And just look at the way this whole thing started. Like everybody else, like the NBA was like, okay, this is what we're going to do about coronavirus and finishing our season. The NHL, this is what we're going to do. The MLB, here's our plan. The NFL was like, we've got no plan. We're playing football. That's the game plan. So they don't care. People can get sick all they want. It doesn't matter. You're right, it's the bottom line. It's the money. The NFL makes way too much money. These guys are so money hungry. They are not going to allow a virus that, you know what? Half of these guys, maybe three quarters of these guys, they might not even believe it's real. They might not even believe it's a serious thing. That could be a possibility. They're not going to care. And if that's the case, when they vote whether or not they're going to play the season, they're going to continue to play. It's going to happen. This season's going to happen. Your fantasy team might be affected when guys get sick, if guys get sick, but who knows? Who knows? But we're all we're all in agreement here. This season's happening. We're getting a Super Bowl. Yep. Wild time this year. Wild time. CLNS Media Patriots Roundtable, Nick Qualia, Marvazan, Mike Molino. Guys, we're going to be back next week for another set post-week one after the Patriots take on the Miami Dolphins at Gillette Stadium, which also confuses me because right now I think Massachusetts State guidelines say no tackle football, but I guess the NFL could just just do whatever the hell they want to do. It's fine. <laughs> totally fine. Again, Nick Quali and Marvazan, Mike Molino, guys, we're going to be back next week. Thanks for watching.